And now the program in detail. The World Bank has approved a $65.6 million project to reduce environmental health risks for people residing in polluted mining areas of Kawe, Kitwe, and Chingola. Poshalala reports that over 70,000 people in the three districts are expected to benefit from the project. After years of digging for minerals, the extractive industry seems to have left a trail of waste and deaths in its wake. As usual, the environment is the first to suffer and then follows its people. For a country that depends so much on earnings from mining, Zambia has constantly had to deal with the after effects. Now and again, rivers have been polluted. The air too has not been spared. In most mining towns, rivers and streams have been contaminated, leading to sicknesses and deaths from pollution. Chingola is a good example. I'm a garden tayawomba, to a lady mama garden tomato, na cabbage, no musaru, no mbatakwa, bumrandu wa copa, fiari o naika na acid. Ameshi na yena yari ramba, ya wafe copa yeka yeka ameshi. Tuti nga tuwandu putu hati tunwe, mumala, mre burukuta, ele nga tusambe, file fiko tafifuma. Na nguti wa samba shani na sopo, tafifuma au. The story is the same in Kitwe, which hosts major mines. Here, both air and water pollution has been reported. In December last year, Kafua River, which supplies water to the city of Kitwe, was polluted, forcing the Kana Water and Sewage Company to switch off water to the entire city's population of over 500,000 people. And in Kawe, the legacy of lead and zinc mining is evident. The town, which was once infamously referred to as a ghost town, is said to be the worst heat city in the world in terms of lead poisoning. Studies done in 2003 to 2006 found that the content of lead in soil in certain areas to be as high as 26,000 milligrams per kg against the acceptable standards of about 10 to 50 milligrams per kilogram. This is why the World Bank has just approved a $65.6 million project to fight pollution in the three mining towns of Kawe, Kitwe and Chingola. The project is expected to benefit 70,000 people who live in the areas heavily polluted by the mines. The World Bank's Board of Executive Directors in Washington, D.C. approved the $65.6 million credit. We've been having research teams from JICA. Uh, we had also a program under Copper Belt Environment Project that was uh, did some, some interventions. And now we have got this Zambia Mining Environment and Remediation Improvement Project which has finally been uh, funded. It was funded uh, last month. We are grateful. Recently, a team of World Bank officials from the Zambian office and the bank's international headquarters in Washington, D.C. visited Kawe to launch the project. The team explained why the Zambia Mining, Environment, Remediation and Improvement Project is important to people in the three mining towns. So we want to address these things again together with you uh, because we think it's a very critical, particularly as it affects children because lead poisoning, uh, so you don't get cancer, but it affects your cognitive capacity and the lead levels in Kabwe are very elevated. So we want to um, work with you on this and to work towards uh, addressing these challenges. Central Province Permanent Secretary Chanda Kabwe assured the World Bank team that government will ensure that the project succeeds in order for people's lives to be safeguarded. Colleagues, you've come at the right time that this project should be implemented. It's uh, long overdue. Uh, we thank the World Bank uh, and other cooperating partners that would come and work with us to, to manage uh, this project. I can assure you that you have our total support. The project will work with the city councils in Kawe Kitwe and Chingola to ensure that the impact in terms of implementation is owned by the respective local authorities. We want to thank uh, the World Bank. Uh, they are committing over $65 million, uh, which shows that uh, issues of environmental concern are obviously on top of their agenda. 
as a local authority uh, responsible for the planning of the city, we obviously want to appreciate the scope of uh, uh, this project, understand uh, which group will benefit. Uh, of course, we are aware that mining in Kitwe has been a historical uh, mainstay for our economy in the city. Director of Mine Safety in the Ministry of Mines, Gideon Ndalama, who coordinate the project. Apart from working with the World Bank, Mr. Ndalama will also coordinate with the three city councils and the Zambia Environmental Management Agency. It's a project that belongs to all of us and um, uh, like Mr. Nsa has indicated, uh, it's got a different approach which is to ensure that it is locally entrenched and um, a big presence of the regulatory institutions as well as the local municipal uh, authorities because without their firm participation, at the end of the project things just scatter and there's nobody who takes up those issues to run with them. So I think the approach should be the, the project belongs to us and um, we should ensure that whatever elements that are coming through, they are actually entrenched in the normal operational um, uh, institutions uh, because uh, only then are we going to ensure that we have sustainability. In terms of benefits to the local people, this project agrees to provide medical interventions to over 30,000 children. Of those, 4,000 will be tested for blood lead level which comes as a result of the children's exposure to lead. There will be a, co a component where they will, they will test the, the, the children, mostly the ones who are vulnerable are the ones who are below 15, 15 years old. So there will be the, the issue of testing and treating them and also giving them supplements because the issue of lead, lead poisoning is strongly linked to, to nutrition. By 2021, the Zambia Mining Environment Remediation and Improvement Project is expected to reduce lead contamination in Kawe by 70%. Further, the project also aims to empower 500 women and unemployed youths with income generating activities which will keep them away from jobs that expose them to lead poisoning. Poshalala, ZNBC News in Kawe, Central Province. Authorities in Kitwe said the four armyworms, which have ravaged over 3,000 hectares of maize fields, have been subdued. Lillian Kalawa reports that this follows a massive spray campaign against the pests mounted by the Ministry of Agriculture and the Zambia National Service to protect this year's produce. <laughs> 